Ah! Moon pig. <laughs> Someone's been moon pigged. It's not actually their birthday, is it? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, what's it gonna be? I'm scared. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, that's quite tall. <laughs> Yay! Is there a card in that? There is. This is a big one. Oh, there you go. That's your that's your birthday card. Woohoo! Okay, so welcome to the first video segment for the weekly vlog coming from the bathroom. So, a few, probably more than around about a year ago now, I think I made um, reference to the fact that we were changing our skincare routine and we switched from kind of basic skincare. Um, and I've always done skincare, uh, but we switched from, well, I switched from basic skincare to something a little bit more age appropriate and we went with the brand Clinique. We have an amazing local Clinique um, counter in our local department store um, and there's an amazing woman Michelle from the Clinique um, in my local area and she has always looked after my skin ever since and given really amazing advice. So I went to her today because I have been having a lot of skin issues recently stress with the move, um, also allergies, hay fever. Um, like I said, with the, with the move, there's been lots of dust in the air, plaster dust, paint fumes, all kinds of things going on, and it still hasn't quite finished. So anyway, I've had really red, sensitive skin, things that weren't making me um, kind of sore before and now making me sore. Um, my eczema has come back. I've had occasions where this eye in particular has actually closed up um, and gone really red and puffy with an, an, an immediate reaction to something in the air. Anyway, my skincare needed a complete overhaul. So I went to see Michelle at Clinique and basically she said, we need to take my skincare down to the basics. So I've just emptied my uh, my medicine cabinet of all the different things, my bathroom cabinet of all the different products I have been using, which have previously been perfectly fine. So once I've given my skin a break, hopefully I can go back to those products. But I do have some new products to try. So she was amazing uh, as always. And I have this seven day scrub in these little tester pots. There's enough for seven days. So these I can use morning and night. Um, a little bit, rub it on, that should hopefully remove lots of dead skin and all that kind of thing. Um, and then I think this is, I've got, to, I've got to remember which way to actually do it. This is the Daily Skin Moisturiser. It's a moisture surge. I have had a little sample of this before and it is really good at putting moisture back. Apparently I need to really rehydrate the skin. So that will be being used for them. Um, and then I think I have a little bit of this, which is the Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion to kind of put on spot areas uh, to make sure that they are really hydrated. So I've got a little one of those. Um, these are also Moisture Surge Lotion. So I could use these again morning and night. So we have two of those. These will last more than seven days, absolutely. Um, and then I've got this for night time which is the Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. So I've never used this before. I think you put it on and then just literally leave it. Yeah, uh, skin awakens, plumped, supple and luminous. So yeah, you put this on a little bit overnight. My particular area is forehead and eyes. So that will be going on there. So I'll be doing this skincare, this new kind of switched up skincare routine to get things back to basic. Uh, to put some moisture back into my skin, to get rid of the eczema, to hopefully combat some of the hay fever. Oh, also I had recommended by Michelle these. Now, I haven't tried them. I've literally just got them today, but apparently they are hay fever tablets. I mean, obviously, you know, consult your doctor before trying things, but these were available at the pharmacy. So I could walk in, I could pick them up and I could self kind of, you know, medicate on these. Apparently, um, they are really, really, really good and you can continually take these. Um, so, well, no, if they work, I will check with my doctor as to whether I can continually take them. But I'm gonna give these at least a month trial. These are a pack of 30, you can get 15. Um, so I will give them a try and we're gonna try this for a week. So hopefully I'll be able to update you in the next vlog 
kind of if it's worked, if it's not worked, I don't know. Let me know if you like these sorts of bathroom chats as well about skincare. Let me know your skincare and have you had similar issues to me, what's worked for you. We'll see if this works for me. Sorry, just me again interjecting. Um, the moisture surge that I said was like a little moisturiser, it's not, it's actually a lotion. And I think this is instead of the clarifying lotion. Um, so this is instead, of, it's like a cleanser basically. So I think this goes on a little cotton pad and then you wipe your face with it. So I can do that twice a day. So, um, and apparently it's a lot more gentle on your skin. So that's what that is. So it's night time, obviously, and I just thought I'd show you. There's Bo down here. Matt has just gone outside to see if he can get Rory in, because uh, he hasn't come back tonight, but he does normally, so it's, it's, it's normally fine. So Matt's gone to shake some dreamies, but I just thought I'd show you how good our rear lights are on the back of the house, They're only from being q <laughs> But just look, the way that they're angled literally shines the light all the way to the back of the garden. So we have three lights on the back of the house, you can just about see one of them up there. Um, but yeah, this is basically how illuminated the garden gets. And it's, it's really, really good. So when we do have a party eventually, you'll be able to, well, really, we don't need lights at the back of the garden if we don't need, if we don't want to. Oh, everybody, it was a struggle, <laughs> but we did it. We put together the mower. <laughs> so this is our mower. It was a gift from my parents. Um, it is actually a Greenworks 24 um, volt lithium. Um, it is battery operated. It's got three different cutting heights, blah, blah, blah. And it also includes a strimmer. So here it is. I mean, it's a very nice kind of attractive garden green colour. One problem we had, we are missing a handle. Um, so all the bits that are left in the box are to do with the strimmer. We haven't set, we haven't set the strimmer up, but there should be a handle that goes on here um, for the grass box. So... Um, we're going to have to try and get that sorted. Hopefully they'll be able to send us one. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, this is what we need to mow today and the front lawn. It is literally coming to the point where it needs to be done. I'm not feeling particularly well today. I have hay fever and a cold. So I'm not really looking forward to doing it. But if I leave it any longer, it's just going to ruin the turf. So I'm not going to take a lot off first cut. I will have it on its highest setting do a pass over then i'll go to its next setting pass over and possibly i might leave it there i don't know but let's just see to stop and pack away i've got most of it done but because it was so long uh, because i was obviously waiting for everything to bed in um with the new turf and um, the battery basically ran out i have got two batteries but the one is on charge so now they're both on charge so i can't do any more now until they are all fully charged up um so this is where we've got to it is still a little bit patchy in places um but there you go that's what it is i may have to put some new grass seed down who knows but anyway so i will probably finish this off tomorrow i've had like basically one or two passes over of it the most of it um so yeah it probably needs about three passes over to make it look something like because it was so long so work in progress but we are getting there okay so i've just opened my london sock company subscription box yes i do still have it every month three pairs I just haven't kind of shown you because, I don't know, I don't know if you're bored of the socks. I don't know, let me know. Do you want me to do a proper unboxing of them? Let me know. But anyway, this is what I've had this month. Um, I think I've had these two colours before, and this is one I haven't. Um, and the reason why I choose some that I've had before is because sometimes they, well, if I've had them a year ago, they've pretty much worn through. So, um, I just think they're really nice to have a little bit of a fleck in them. The pink goes with pretty much anyth anything. That's kind of my wedding suit colour that I've got to match. Um, and these are just kind of every day and I think they'll be really good. So I will leave the London Sock Company linked below. Oh, hi everybody. It's the first time we've ventured out in a few days. We've been feeling really poorly. <laughs> we didn't know what it was. Cold? 
the sea, the dread, dreaded sea, or just hay fever, or I, it could I be. I think it's been a combination of all three. Anyway, today we've been cooped up for too long, so we're sort of keeping away from everybody, but we're going out for a walk because why not? It's a beautiful sunny day, and we are by the pool, which is right outside of our house. And actually, it's the first time since we've moved in. It's been over a month now. Yeah. That we've actually decided to go out for a walk um, because we've been so busy with work and everything. So anyway, this is our our pool. Well, not our pool, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And they can see all the geese. Are they the Canadian geese? Lots of geese. Yeah. So we haven't got anything to feed them, but we just thought we'd come and say hi and then have a walk in the village. Hi everybody, we are back from our walk and I'm hot so I've changed into this. We've got something to unbox, something arrived. So let's go and, I think I know what it is, but let's go and make sure. Okay, so, Matt is doing the unboxing. What could it possibly be? Ah, I think I know what this is. So this is from Red Row. Thank you, Red Row. The house builder. And they have sent us some things for our garden. They are having... Um, a, a wildlife push, shall we say. Yes. And uh, these are some things. So we'll, we'll open this in a minute, and I think that's got the instructions. So this is something that people can join in. Oh, what have we got? Hotel. Bug Hotel. Oh, a bug ho you a wanted bug, one of these. I want a bug hotel. So it's a, it's a pet ting green wooden insect hotel. We're liking that one. I'm not sure what's in there. Mm -hmm. Na so this is good for children, but it's also good for the adults as well. I think it's also to see how many, <laughs> little spyglass, to see how many, what types of birds and wildlife are in your garden. And some suet. Oh, that's good. So we can feed the birds. Yeah. So there's 10 suet blocks with mealworm, premium wild bird food. So there's 10 of them in here. So that's actually really, really good. Now, shall we have a look what's in this box? Yes, I'm confused. Because I don't know what's in that one. While you're doing that, I shall have a little rummage. In the bag and see. Chip it out on there. Let's mind the dreamies, a couple of those. Uh, so we have, oh, this is good. We have some some wildflower mixed seeds. So everyone knows that I wanted one of those. Oh, is it a butterfly house? I think so. I think that's, that's cool. a butterfly house. We can hang that. Well, we need to find somewhere to hang it. Mm. But that is good. I like that. Is it made of like, um, it's like a woven. It's yeah. woven. So that's really nice. And we have, ah, we have a uh, Red Rose Nature Activity. Can you find the following? So this is for kids, but you can also see if you can see them as well. In fact, I, I know we've got robins because I've seen those. Um, but that's really, really good. And then this is part of the activity as well. Wow. And I think it's also a competition, so you can enter. So do go and check uh, Red Rose social medias, especially Twitter. Hi everybody, it is now Wednesday and after over a week of being ill We're starting to get better Yeah, not really filming much, we're starting to feel a little bit better um, But yeah, we don't have taste and we don't have smell So I think you can probably guess what we've had But it's not just been that on its own It has been with a cold because we've had the runny noses and all the rest of it And hay fever on top So I think, we, I think we've had a triple whammy Triple yeah, anyway, we've got food, but it's so hot. I know I'm, I know I'm, I'm wearing, I know, I'm wearing long sleeves, but it is roasting. It's been roasting the last few days. Um, and it's just supposed to get warmer. Yeah. We did buy a fan for the bedroom, and we have got some new bed stuff. I think, have I, I don't think I've showed you, but we bought a new duvet to go with the set. And we also have some new pillows which we need to unbox and try out so we will be doing that in this vlog so um we'll catch back with you later here is the new duvet rory didn't well i had to make the bed around rory today he's been spending most of his afternoons up here asleep so i've, I've not been able to pull the duvet over properly because he's been there but this is one it's from habitat at sainsbury's um, so it was really affordable. It was in the sale and it came with two top pillowcases as well. So I think it all goes. Um, so there we go. That's just a little bedroom update. We also have a fan, which has been a godsend in the hot nights. Um, yes, in the UK, we don't have air conditioning. We just have a fan. <laughs> 
But yes, just look at this cuteness. Hello, my gorgeous boy. Yes. Oh, show that tummy. Yes. Gorgeous boy. Um, but yeah, it's been really sunny. Um, yeah. Oh, I need to show you the, the new pillows. Right, so I need to unbox them first. So we will go and unbox them. Hi, everybody. It is Saturday. No, it's not. Hi, everybody. It is Friday. And I just thought I'd show you this really cute scene. It's Molly and Bo. They do love each other, really. <laughs> Sat together in the hedge. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, I need to mow the grass again because it's grown. We, obviously, we've had nice weather. It's been a bit cooler today. Um, but, yeah, everything's looking good. Everything needs a bit of a wipe down, a bit of a, a brush over and a, a swill. Um, but yeah, we are looking a lot better. Just thought I would do a quick flower update. So, um, as you can see, they are growing. Uh, the geraniums have still got to flower. I think they will probably flower in a few weeks, maybe. Uh, we do have some flowers coming here. I was a bit worried about these, but they have suddenly grown over the past few days. So I'm um, a lot happier with those. I think those are the begonias and then we've got the busy lizzies over here which are definitely in flower. So I'm hoping that they will fill out. We also have some of the old plants uh, just coming through randomly so I've left them. Do need to do a bit of weeding uh, but other than that oh yeah and we've still got to find a home for the bug hotel and the butterfly um, house. So yeah still a few things to do but we are we are most definitely getting there so um we also have the upstairs cupboard that's been done which is amazing uh, we're still in a bit of a disarray because we've been bringing things over from the old house we, we still had quite a few things at the old house we've got to bring all of the artwork tomorrow so we will be putting all of our art and paintings up the decorating has oh, by the way there i am hello the decorating has been done as I was saying, the decorating has been done and completely finished today, so that's amazing. Uh, we have a little bit of something to do in a couple of weeks' time, but that's neither here nor there. So we can go ahead and put all the things on the wall. Just thought I'd turn the camera around again and show you the upstairs airing cupboard. So here we have the airing cupboard and it now has its shelves back. Yay. So it is a proper airing cupboard. Like I say, we do have our internet connection points and things in there. Um, so this shelf here... It is slatted to let all the air through from the radiator when we do eventually turn it on. Um, so this shelf, I think we're going to put, either this one or that one, we're going to put some toiletries. We've still got a box in the spare bedroom full of toiletries that won't fit in the, in the bathroom. So things that we don't want to get rid of, but things that we do want to keep. Um, so they're going to go in some storage boxes on here. We will be able to put all the bed linen and towels on here. There is also a rail that we can hang things. And this is removable. It's like a little hanging thing. So you can move it on the different levels and use it to hang things. So if you've got socks to dry or something, you can drape them over or you can get a little hanging tool and that will work. So that's our cupboard and I'm well impressed. <laughs> ducks crossing, geese. ducks and ducks and geese. Excuse me. We're approaching home. <laughs> Excuse me, ducks. And we've had to pull over for, um, and I'm not getting out to chase them. You might have to. Oh my God. Okay, we're back home. I literally had to shoo a goose and shoo some ducks <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> they did eventually go. Anyway, we're home. Uh, we're just going to cook some tea. Matt's making HelloFresh pie. <laughs> yeah, Where's the, the picture? Uh, so there's what we're having. Beef and mushroom pie. Uh, and there is the pie before it's gone in the oven. I'm making a cup of tea to go. Well, just to drink now because I'm really, really thirsty. And even in the heat, we British drink tea. Uh, <laughs> ooh, these are the carrots. Roasted carrots. Roasted carrots there, yummy, yummy. Mm. Oh, in, in the oven goes the pie. In you go. Um, and I've done some watering while Matt's been cooking. I've swilled down the patio because that was getting a bit dusty. So that's been swilled. Um, and I've watered the flowers. I still need to cut the lawn, but I haven't felt like it. I've still felt a bit drained. So we have long lawn again. Um, but anyway, that's by the by. And I've also sorted out the upstairs cupboard, which now has uh, boxes in it. So we'll just go and take a look at that. Um, we went out and we have been looking at spare beds because we're not going to get the Super King up these stairs and I don't want the window taken out to fit it in. There's Rory. Hello, my sweetie. So, the shelves 
I've decided to put um, things like the hair dryer, um, hair tongs, and any spare toiletry bags, like the one we travel with, in there. We have random ad hoc um, toiletries in that one, and we've got all hair care stuff in that one there. So they are easy just to grab and bring down in these storage boxes. Um, I think we've, we're going to put the uh, bed linen here. We could put it under the bed like we used to, but I think it's more accessible there. Um, the, any spare towels that we can't fit in the bathroom will go here with the hand one uh, for the bathroom downstairs. Um, there, and there we have some cleaning on the floor in there, the vacuum, and that's it really. And we did put the um, lampshade from the old bedroom, from the old uh, main bedroom. So it's now in the spare bedroom, which we still need to find a bed for. We have been looking today. Um, so I've emptied literally all this box, uh, which now needs to be collapsed and recycled. Um, so there we go. Eventually we will get some a wardrobe fitted there, but not yet. Funds are not permitting at the moment, but there we go. That's that's our clothes storage at the moment. And there will be room for a small one in the bedroom too. And here it is, the pie. Um, isn't it yummy? It looks very nice. It looks nice and flaky and crispy. Hi everybody and welcome to Monday. <laughs> I think this is going to be the final day of filming for this vlog. Um, I'm not quite sure how long this vlog is going to end up being. But anyway, it's been filmed over a few weeks, obviously because we've been so ill. That's why there hasn't been a life update house type video from us um, for almost two weeks because we've been ill. And actually yesterday was the first day that we felt a lot better. I mowed the lawn again um, and we had some guests over. So we actually borrowed this pop-up gazebo, which is quite a sturdy one actually. We borrowed it from my parents. We used the same one for Matt's birthday last year. Um, and we all sat out at the table. We only had two guests and we had a barbecue. So that was rather nice. M Bo and Molly have been out using it today. But I thought we would do a final sort of plant flower check. Uh, so there we go. The geraniums are still growing, but they haven't flowered. The begonias are actually now flowering which is really, really good. And the busy lizzies have been flowering for a few weeks and we're getting lots of butterflies as well. I'm sure you can see one there. Um, so yeah, and also this is gonna be one of the hottest days on record. <laughs> so yes, if temperatures are expected to peak, then yeah, this is gonna be a very hot day. So it's still the morning time. What is Bo doing? He's stalking the butterfly. <laughs> Oh, he caught a moth last night and he walked around in the garden with it hanging from his mouth. Yes, cats, what do you do? I think he might try and pounce on it in a moment. So there we go. You didn't get it, did you, sweetie? No, you did not. <laughs> um, so anyway, here's me. I haven't had a shower this morning yet, so I'm going to do that in a moment. So hello. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and keep cool. Matt's been working a little bit outside today. And, um, yeah, the cats are sort of in and out, being quite hot. But we have got them some fridge lick treats. And they've been having them last night. Oh, we're giving Rory one of his lick sticks. This one's a salmon one. Oh, here comes the child. You keep them in the fridge. And then they lick them. And Rory's just gone up from, from being on the bed. Yeah. Um, and obviously Bo is very interested. Bo might want to lick too. He might. They both want busy. licks. <laughs> there we go. Is that nice? Yeah. Hi all, you are joining me in the bedroom. Yes, on the hottest day of the year. It's actually getting towards the evening now, so temperatures I don't think have peaked. But anyway, I've turned the fan off. We've got the fan over there, just so I can make this video, because you wouldn't be able to hear me otherwise. Um, anyway, so oh, we bought, we've also got the curtain closed as well, because the sun is on that side of the house. So we've been trying to do all the things that you're supposed to do to keep cool. Anyway, I have, well, we have had these pillows. They were sent to us by Levitex. And because we were ill, we did not feel like opening 
or unboxing or recording or doing anything. So I am finally going to do something that I have been looking forward to for a long time. And that is opening these Levy Text pillows. Like I said, they have sent them to us and we haven't tried them yet. But I thought that seeing as we've given our bedroom a little bit of a mini makeover, with changing the duvet and all that kind of thing, I thought now would be an ideal time to unbox them and swap them into our nighttime routine and actually test them out. So what I invite you to do is to, of course, subscribe to the channel. And in a few weeks time, I will update you on what we think about these pillows. But these are supposed to be absolutely amazing. I have heard really, really positive things about Levitex pillows. They revolutionize the way that people sleep. So um, you need to ask yourself, but you can go online. Uh, so I will, I will link to them in the description box below. You can enter in all your details about how you sleep. They kind of work out a recommended like height of the pillow because uh, yeah, you do not get the same pillow for yourself or your partner. Uh, if you have one, you enter in your own information and they will sort of recommend a pillow for you. So I think this one is Matt's. We actually did our kind of consultation online with an actual person, but you can do it on the website. And um, they worked out which ones they thought was best for us. So they come, this is the actual pillow. Oh, oh that feels amazing. That really does feel amazing. It's got this cool logo on. It's got, um, making sure I've got it the right way up. It's got Levy Text on there. Um, like I say, they're different sizes. This is the extra large, and I do believe this one is for Matt. And I think his is a little bit thicker, i.e. higher than mine, um, because you're supposed to um, sleep with your spine in a really good alignment. This is what these do. These are for not just a comfortable night's sleep, these are to actually help with the alignment of your spine. So the, these are, uh, Levy Techs look at how you sleep with pillows from a very medical, um, I suppose, way of looking at things. Uh, like I say, you can put pillowcases on the top, we are going to, but I don't actually think you, you need to. Uh, they have also come in like a little tissue paper to keep them all nice. Um, if I just read a little bit from the box. So they look at, if I just, if I can show you on the back of the box, um, how do you sleep? Are you a front sleeper, a front side, a side or a back? Let me know in the comments section. Um, what they do is they reduce back and neck pain, which we all need. Um, they lessen shoulder tension, improve digestion and circulation, reduce snoring. Yes, we need to test that one because apparently um, there are little piggies in our bedroom at night time. I've never heard them, uh, but Matt says sometimes when he wakes up, there are little piggy noises. And um, so reducing snoring might be a good one. Uh, and they boost energy levels. We all need a boost of energy levels, don't we? Um, so yeah, and then there's the size. So there's, if you're below five foot eight, there's one for you, above five foot eight, below five foot four. So basically you go through all the different kind of heights and it works out if you do it online, what is the best one for you? So that's what I believe is Matt's one, because I think during the consultation, he had the slightly bigger one than me. Um, and then I think this is mine. So there we go, all wrapped up. Ah, great into it. There we go. Um, yes, I think this one's mine. So basically when you, I sleep on my front, so, um, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to try and be a, a side sleeper is like the optimum. But if you are a back sleeper, don't worry. They're not going to try and change you completely. But I kind of sleep like this. I put my arm under. And actually, I think this is a good height for me. Um, because what I end up doing is I almost end up slipping off the pillow anyway and ending up on the actual mattress. So I think this is quite good because I don't think I'm going to slip off too far. So those are our pillows. Um, just so you can see the difference between them in the in the different depths. There's mine, there's Matt's. Matt's is much higher up. Like I say, yours will be tailored for you, your requirements. Um, so it's really worth doing. Like I say, we'll leave them linked in about two weeks. We'll come back and we'll discuss about how we actually feel. I will include a little, little bit of a clip of them on the bed so you can see them. But yeah, this is, this is the Levitex pillows. 
go check them out. So I put them on the bed. They are the ones in the white pillowcases. By the way, I actually use silk pillowcases. They're supposed to be better for your skin. Uh, but anyway, that's what they look like on the bed, if you were kind of wondering, um, depending on how you display your pillows. But yeah, I think they're going to be really, really good. And like I said, we will check back in a couple of weeks and see how we're doing. Okay, also, I should point out that there is a 44-day trial. So if you don't like it after 44 days, you can send it back. Hi, everybody. By the way, I've just unboxed the pillows. <laughs> They're amazing. Oh, are they? They feel really, really oh, good. I can't wait to try them yeah. out. Matt's been playing... Well, watching YouTube. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were playing a video game. No, they do look really, really good. So we're looking for... I said we're going to come back in two weeks and sort of tell people what we think oh, about yeah. them. So anyway, there is a difference. Yours is a lot thicker than mine. Yeah, that's because yeah. I'm a side sleeper. Yeah. Anyway, I've been through all that. So that's... <laughs> They're probably fed up with pillows by now. Right, we're going to sign out because it has gotten a rather long vlog. Hopefully, we're going to feel a lot better going forwards now. I think today we felt okay. Oh, yeah. It's just been hot, so we've still been very lethargic and yeah. all the rest of it. So, anyway, if you've enjoyed this week's vlog, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new vlog. So, from us, to you all, and goodbye.